It's a story we've been following since the spring. The parting of ways between Stewart Hot Dogs and Sodexo. And today, a petition signed by thousands was delivered to Marshall University President Jerome Gilbert, asking the local business be allowed back on campus. 13 News reporter Shannon Litton says what the company's owner has to say about that petition may actually surprise you. Do you believe you're pushed out? I do, I do, absolutely. It all started back in April when a petition circled around asking Marshall University to cut ties with Stewart's hot dogs. Tuesday morning, Stephen Davis and Mark Casertas made their way into Old Main Hall with a letter from Marshall University President Jerome Gilbert asking that Stewart's be reinstated. We didn't believe that was the right thing to do. So we decided to put a petition out on change.org. In just three weeks, the group Concerned Citizens of Huntington has been able to gather 4,800 signatures asking Marshall University to reinstate Stewart's hot dogs at their athletic venues. That's crazy. That's very humbling. That's that's very. Uh, we're blessed to have a community that's loyal. While the contracts were between Mant and Sodexo, Marcus Serta still believes Marshall has a say in the calls. We're hopeful that uh, the, the president Marshall takes this petition day and gives it some serious consideration um, and maybe even some prayer. I think they were removed for political reasons, and we don't believe that should have been the case at all. As for Mant. He says it would be difficult to come back into the stadium because of how he feels he was treated by the university. I don't know that, that we could go back in there and operate as we did for 32 years. It would make it kind of tough. Uh, would I be open to talking and seeing what we could do? Sure. In Huntington, I'm Shannon Litton, 13 News, working for you. And we reached out to Marshall University in a written statement. They told us, quote, we have received the petition and it will be sent to Sodexo, which holds the contract with its sub-vendor, Stewart's.